true freedom right here. Always. Ezekiel chapter 33. Again, the word of the Lord came unto me saying, Son of man, speak to the children of our people and say unto them, when I bring the destroying weapon upon the land, if the people of the land take a man and set him for their watchman, if when he seeth the sword or the destroying weapon come upon the land, a man of the coast, he blows the trumpet and warns the people. Then Whosoever hears the sound of the trumpet or the warning and takes not warning that the destroying weapon come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. He heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning, his blood shall be upon him, but he that takes warning shall deliver his soul. But if the watchman sees the string weapon come and blow out the trumpet and the people be not warned if the string weapon come and take any person from among them he is taken away and his inequity but his blood will I require at the watchman's hand so thou O son of man I have set thee a watchman unto the planet earth and the house of Israel. Therefore thou shalt hear the word of my mouth and warn them from me. When I say unto the wicked, O wicked man, thou shalt surely die, if thou dost not speak to warn the wicked from his way. That wicked man shall die in his in his inequity. But his blood will I require at that hand. Nevertheless, if thou warn the wicked of his way to turn from it, if he do not turn from his way, he shall die and end in his inequity. But thou hast delivered thy soul. Therefore, O you son of man, speak unto the planet of and the house of Israel and the USA. Thus you speak, saying, If our transgressions and our sins be upon us, and we pine away on them, how should we then live? Say unto them, As I live, Say to the Lord God, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that the wicked turn from his way and live. Turn you, turn you from your evil ways. For why will you die? O planet Earth. Therefore, you son of man, say unto the children of thy people, The righteousness of the righteous shall not deliver him in the day of his transgression. As for the wickedness of the wicked, he shall not fall thereby in the day that he turns from his wickedness. Neither shall the righteous be able to live for his righteousness in the day that he sins. And I shall say to the righteous, but he shall surely live, if he trusts to his own righteousness and commit inequity. All his righteousness shall not be remembered, but for his inequity that he has committed, he shall die for it. Again, when I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, if he turn from his sin and do that which is lawful and right. If the wicked restore the pledge, Give again that he had robbed, walk in the statutes of life, without committing inequity. He shall surely live, he shall not die. None of his sins that he has committed shall be mentioned unto him. He has done that which is lawful and right, he shall surely live. Yet the children of thy people say, The way of the Lord is not equal, but as for them, their way is not equal. When the righteous turns from his righteousness and committeth inequity, 
he shall even die thereby. But the wicked turn from his wickedness and do that which is lawful and right, he shall live thereby. Yet you say, The way of the Lord is not equal. Oh, you house of Israel, the planet off and America, I will judge you every one after his ways. It came to pass in the twelfth year of our captivity, in the tenth month, in the fifth day of the month, that one that escaped, that had escaped out of Jerusalem, came unto me saying, The city is smitten. Now the hand of the Lord was upon me in the evening. Before he that was escaped came and opened my mouth until he came to me in the morning. <laughs> and my mouth was open, and I was no more dumb. Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, they that inhabit those wastes of the land of Israel speak, saying, Abraham was one, and he inherited the land, but we are many. The land is given us for inheritance. Wherefore, say unto them, Thus say the Lord God, You eat with the blood, and lift up your eyes toward your idols, and shed blood, and shall you possess the land? You stand upon your destroying weapon, you work abomination, and you defile every one his neighbor's wife, and shall you possess the land? Say, though, thus unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, As I live, surely they that are in the waste shall fall by the destroying weapon, and him that is in the open field will I give to the beast to be devoured, and they that be in the forts, and in the cities, and in the caves, shall die the pestilence. Undermined. For I will lay the land most desolate, and the pomp of her strength shall cease. And the mountains shall be desolate, that none shall pass through. Then shall they know that I am the Lord, when I have laid the land most desolate, because of all their abominations which they have committed. Also, though some man, the children of thy people still are talking against thee by the walls and in the doors of the houses, and speak one to another, every one to his brother, saying, Come, I pray you, and hear what is the word that comes forth from the Lord of the light. And they come unto thee as the people come, and they sit before thee as my people, and they hear thy words, but they will not do them. For with their mouth they show much love, but their heart goes after their covetousness and greediness and self-gratification. And lo, the Lord to them is a very lovely song of one that hath a pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument. For they hear thy words, but they do them not. And when this comes to pass, yes, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet has been among them. Abba Father, thank you Jesus Christ our Lord.